Hey guys, Hammy here. Hope all's well and good. Hope you've had a fantastic holiday season and whatever you're up to, you're going to be having a fabulous thing in 2017. I just want to take a little bit of time to reflect on what a long, strange trip it's been. Whether that's a World of Warcraft achievement to you or a Grateful Dead song, it's awesome either way. I just wanted to go through how far Overwatch has come this year, all of the crazy things that have happened, what we've all enjoyed, and what might be coming up in 2017 for the game as well. Also, have a quick recap of all of the awesome things I've done with your and other people's help on this channel. A big thanks to you too, and then a few thoughts about this channel and plans for 2017 and beyond. Firstly, what's happened in a year of Overwatch? Well, it seems but a moment ago that it was BlizzCon 2015, when we found out about Mei, Genji and D.Va, three new heroes for Overwatch, bringing the roster up to the 21 it would be at launch, as well as seeing the new map Hollywood, and all of the cool lore learnings that we discovered and I covered from the panels at October 2015 saw the Overwatch open beta start, a few people got access, I was lucky to have some access, and I started one of the first of what would be many lore videos over the last year. It was Hollywood, map lore and Easter eggs. If you didn't see those early videos, go back and have a look. I was doing stuff back then and it's kind of crazy to see how much has happened since then. After an awesome beta when Overwatch was the most watched game on Twitch for a short period of time, the beta shut down at the end of 2015 and actually returned in February 2016. But leading up to the launch event of Overwatch, there was a bunch of testing, bunch of open weekends, hype began to grow and everyone was really getting into the game. I started making some videos, you might have seen the top five future heroes in March and then a whole bunch of other lore content and some speculation too. Leading up to Overwatch's launch in May, which was awesome. I attended the Overwatch All-Stars launch events, was invited by Blizzard to that in London, which was a good bunch of fun, got to meet a bunch of creators and all kinds of stuff too. Overwatch has also had a bunch of new heroes this year, even since launch. We've had Ana in July, we've had Sombra just recently in November, and Blizzard have said of course that there are heroes in development, so in 2017 we should certainly expect to see some more, I'm sure. Perhaps if there are three or four months in between it, maybe March 2017 or around that time we could look for someone, but Blizzard have said there are people being worked on. So can't wait to see what happens there. In terms of new maps, we had Eichenwald in August, Gamescom 2016, I was one of the first to release videos live from the show floor on that map, and Oasis, which has been announced as a BlizzCon, which is on the PTR right now and hopefully we'll see in early 2017 too. So I'm sure there's going to be a load of new maps and cool stuff for us to look forward to next year. Outside of maps and heroes, there's also been events. We had the Summer Games, who can forget some Lucio Ball, Halloween with Junkenstein's Revenge, and the first Overwatch PvE or against computer event, and then of course Winter Wonderland, which, don't forget, is finishing in a few days' time, so make sure that you get your last snow brawls in, and buy with credits or indeed any other crates that you want to get for any skins that you want to finish. And of course May's Snowball Offensive, which I've actually really enjoyed. Pat pat pat! What for 2017 in events? Well, although Blizzard have confirmed they're most likely not working on a Valentine's or Easter event, there's loads of cool stuff that could come up. We've seen a new event every two months or so so far, between Summer Games, Halloween, and Winter Wonderland, there was roughly two months, two months and two weeks or so in between each. That could place a new event after December, depending on what else is releasing, maybe late February, early March. That's a little bit late for Lunar or Chinese New Year, which is of course celebrated in Heroes of the Storm, World of Warcraft in terms of other Blizzard titles, but I'm sure there are plenty of cool events that can come up. Don't forget as well that when it comes around to May, it's going to be Overwatch's first birthday, and I bet my bottom dollar or pound that we'll have some kind of cool event and celebration around then as well, so keep an eye out. One thing's for sure, in the last year since BlizzCon 2015 till now or so, Overwatch has become absolutely massive. And that's thanks to all of you, the awesome community, so give yourself a big pat on the back. Something really cool has only just started and it's going to be awesome to see where it goes in this year ahead and beyond. Okay, that's a little bit of Overwatch's year in review. I've not even talked about the Overwatch World Cup, the growth of Overwatch as an eSport, the Overwatch League, which is going to be launching next year's professional franchised eSports with local country and city teams all around the world. There's so much more that's going to be happening and it's all thanks to you. Away from Overwatch, just gonna take a step back and have a think about this channel and all of the cool things I've enjoyed doing and working on and the other stuff we've done. At the beginning of 2015, I had one and a half thousand subscribers here. I'd done a whole bunch of Hearthstone. This channel originated in StarCraft, actually maybe five or so years ago. So I was a Blizzard general channel. I'd actually covered Overwatch since October 2014 when it was announced. You can actually see the 23 minute long, tired voice, live streamed VOD that I'd done on the very night that it was announced on the channel if you really wanna dig back that far. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, my my video production has definitely improved since then. Today, a year or so later, we're just short of 83,000 subscribers, 12 million video views and counting. I'll talk about it in a bit. Numbers aren't everything, but your support has been amazing. I really, really appreciate it. I love creating content, and you all, with your views, subs, chat in the comments, and criticism, have helped me improve so much. So thank you so much for that. You're helping me with your views and support towards something I've dreamed of, creating videos, telling stories, and similar. 
as a full-time thing rather than as a hobby. I'm not there yet, but it could be possible thanks to you, so thank you. Keep telling me what you enjoy and keep telling me what you don't. They both help me a lot. Also, a massive thanks to my wiser half. You find folks can choose whether or not you want to watch or listen to my vids, but she's been on the receiving end of pretty much all of my multiple takes of recording audio and late nights of editing videos for the over 180 videos and live streams I've worked on this year. Without her support and patience and encouragement, I wouldn't have been able to do this, so thanks to her. Reflecting on my own videos and the channel a bit this year, I've definitely learned a lot and improved as a creator, but I've got so many ideas and a lot further to go, as well as loads of new things to try that I can't wait to share with you. Everyone has their own preferences and quality and personal taste are subjective. One person's great video is another person's triggered or annoyance. Suffice to say, if you enjoy watching my content and I'm enjoying making it, then we're all happy. I definitely always aspire to be better though. I know that there's several things I can improve and thanks for your comments in helping me do so. What I do feel strongly though, is that I've covered what must be close to, if not the most Overwatch lore in the most depth from the most angles this year. We were one, if not the first to cover comics in depth with lore analysis, as well as covering all the animated shorts as soon as they came out. I also covered announcements from Comic Cons, including SDCC and other announcements and news Overwatch lore or game wise that sometimes slipped under other people's radars. Volume isn't everything, I've not only tried to cover it all, but tried to take some different approaches to different angles on the lore and story, like speculation as to new heroes and new maps. I called Eichenwald four months before it released, I'm just gonna throw back to that. We also went into hero backstories with interactions and voice lines in addition to their lore, broke down individual Overwatch lore topics and lore bites, explored Overwatch theory in different ways, like the science of Mercy's healing, and a bunch more as well. Now, as I've worked out how the world of YouTube works a little bit, the line of course between making quality videos to my own standards, and I hope yours too that you enjoy, whilst managing to upload on a regular basis and covering breaking news and stories is one that I've had to work out and juggle. I've not always done it totally successfully, but I like to think I've got better. I've done my best to keep a regular upload schedule while breaking news and keeping you up to date with announcements quickly and for sure that's led to the odd blooper along the way so thanks for pointing those out too. I've tried uploading every day that didn't quite suit me both time wise and in terms of making videos that I'm proud of and I hope you enjoy. Having been making videos alongside working a big chunk of the time this year more than not making and finding the time to make the content I and you enjoy whilst looking after responsibilities has been a challenge at times too. So a big thanks for your support ideas well wishes and patience it's been an amazing year and I'm really looking forward to what 2017 could bring. So what's in store for 2017 on this channel? In short, all your favourites, more new ideas, and then maybe even some new game lore, starting with Blizzard games, if you're up for it. Firstly, I've been out and about a reasonable amount this year. I got to go to the Overwatch All-Stars in May 2016. I was at Gamescom 2016, live on the show floor covering Eichenwald, and I also popped through MCM Expo as well in London. I'd love to do even more next year, maybe even BlizzCon, who knows, but we have to see how it goes. Whenever Overwatch is making announcements, my plan is to try and bring you any game and lore news as it happens, whether that's in person or covering it from home. In terms of Overwatch lore, well, I'm gonna to continue to try and do what I did last year, cover it in the most depth from the most angles in the way you enjoy as soon as the news is dropping, if not very shortly after. In terms of series, here at Lore Interactions and Voice Lines, I know a lot of you love that, and indeed that's how you came to my channel. We've got Torbjorn and Bastion still to come. I do have an idea for Bastion, don't worry. And then after that, some of the old episodes are a little bit dated and there have been new voice lines and indeed lore facts that we've learned since then. Some of those are going to get a new update, Tracer for example, and a few others for sure. There'll also be some compilations, and of course with voice lines and interactions, anything new that I find I'll always cover. So for those of you who like the short videos with new patches and PTR updates, don't worry, they're not going anywhere. Lore bites will certainly continue. I've got a good list of topics I want to cover. Lore analysis of shorts and comics and anything new lore-wise that Blizzard releases will of course continue. But of course they depend on when new things are announced, so those will drop as and when. Map lore and Easter eggs, as I showed you with my Hollywood video, is something pretty much where I started back in October 2015. So those are going to return. Expect to see some more of those in the coming months ahead. I'll always be covering Overwatch news, but in terms of things I think you'll enjoy and be interested in. In terms of gameplay content, well, obviously I did some quick guides to heroes and things when the game announced. I've tried a few things around competitive. I'm not 100% sure as to how much of this you'd like to see or not. I'd say, given that I've floated between platinum and gold, I'm probably an average player at best. I like to feel I've got a reasonable outlook on the game, but maybe until I hit a higher playing level, my goal next year as soon as possible is diamond, if not higher. I feel a tad uncomfortable with risking not practicing what I preach. But if there's gameplay content or fun stuff you'd like to see from me that you think I could enjoy and do with that in mind, then do let us know. 
What about new stuff? Well, I've got a bunch of ideas for some cool collaborations. Stay tuned for those next year. We'll see how they go. I've also got a new three part series that I've mentioned before that's in writing at the moment. I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. And those are going to be slightly longer than our average videos. They may even tune in at, I think about half an hour an episode. So really looking forward to launching the first one of those and seeing what you all think. In terms of outside of Overwatch, now obviously Overwatch is always gonna be my priority and that's not going anywhere. I'm an Overwatch lore story and news channel primarily and that's where we're going to stay. But I do play and enjoy a lot of other games, Blizzard games in particular and a bunch of other games too. And I know that you guys do too. Sometimes every now and then to try some new things, I'd like to try and do lore related series or perhaps one-offs around some other games. They'll start firstly with Blizzard games and then they might go to other games as well every now and then. So when these show up, if you don't wanna watch them, don't watch them. If you do like these other games or you'd like to try something else new, then do watch them and honestly let me know what you think. Let me know what you like, what you don't, what games you'd like to see and not. I will always keep experimenting, maybe I'll make a new channel and pop these videos on there and always approaching things from different angles with videos. I'd much rather make this stuff I enjoy and you folks hopefully enjoy too than continuously feeling like I need to feed any YouTube algorithm or platform for advertising revenue. On that note, a big shout out to all my patrons on Patreon whose support is helping me move away from other work, away from reliance on YouTube so much, so I can spend more time on making videos you want and enjoy and trying new things that you ask for too, without worrying so much about views, watch minutes, and indeed, and that kind of thing. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a great way you can support your favorite creators directly to help them make more of what you love watching. From just a dollar, euro, or pound a month, you can really support video creators and artists, writers, and more, helping them be a lot more free to express their creativity outside of relying on advertising dollars. Do take a look if you have time, I'll finally get around to making a better video explaining it in the new year, and only if you feel my content is worth it and you can afford it, then any support's welcome. It all goes into content creation, not into my living costs. Your comments, thoughts, views, and subs though are the best support of all, so a massive thanks for all that, and please never stop. I'm really looking forward to what Overwatch has in store for 2017 and beyond, and also the cool things I'm planning on creating and sharing with you on this channel too. I very much hope you'll join me in sharing all of the news and excitement together that 2017 brings. Have a great holidays and new year, and stay tuned for your favorite lore series of returning with all things Overwatch from January 2nd onwards. I've been Hammy, thanks once again for watching and all your support, and an amazing 2016. Take care, and take it easy.